Hi, my name is Jim Moore, and I'm going to show you how to iron your dress shirt in 90 seconds. So you all know what an ironing board looks like. This is an ironing board. But I think what you don't know is that it's really this end of the ironing board that you should be ironing on. So the first thing you do is you should turn it around. These are the two tools that you need. A nice hot iron. Get yourself a little water bottle like this. Empty out the water. No water in an iron. I'm going to ask you to turn it to its highest setting. So you're going to be spraying the bottom of the iron, making sure you hear that nice sizzle. The 90 second iron is front collar and cuffs. That's all you need if you're going to be wearing a jacket. So let's position the shirt right onto that flat end of the ironing board. And you can see it just lays in there perfectly. We want to soak it down pretty well with our sprayer and just like go at it like crazy. And I'm a, I'm a big puller. Get really aggressive with the shirt. That's one side done. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. When you get to the button placket, soak the placket, hold on to it with your left hand, and just pull it as you're ironing. So there's going to be this little area of the shoulder, which is going to need a little bit of touch-up, so angle it a little bit. Hit that right there. I recommend ironing the shirt collar on the underside. Again, you can never get it too wet. Really smash it down. Fold it over on the seam. This is going to make your collar sit better. It's also going to accommodate your, your necktie very well. Okay, the collar's done. Go to your cuffs. The inside of the cuffs is what you want to do, not the outside. Soak it a little bit, flatten that out. Put it on a hanger. There's your 90 seconds. Button the top button to your shirt. You can see it's going to sit nice and flat, and none of those wrinkles are going to come back into play. I'm Jim Moore, and that's how to iron a dress shirt in 90 seconds.